It's Sunday afternoon, Dice Footy, and we may have some Melbourne fans watching today because ski resorts are still closed. Yes, just getting word that that's the millionth time that joke's been used. A little milestone for me as we head into this great game. An exciting opportunity to see the Ds take on the Western Bulldogs. AFL.com.au forward slash Dice Footy. If you've missed any games this weekend, you also may have missed this man in action. David King is going to be in the lab again today for us. King, are you there? Thanks, Andy. Jetta versus Dunkley. It's going to be a big one. Fantastic, mate. Cannot wait to see what you've got in store for us at the halftime break. Neville Jetta coming in for a Melbourne team that is undefeated so far this Telstra ADFL season. Josh Dunkley in for the Dogs to try and change all that. Get warm, get ready, because it's D-Day. The D's versus the Dogs to kick off Sunday Dice Football. Both players warming up, and hopefully we get a chance to chat to one of them more. If we're lucky, both of them. Josh Dunkley, are you there, buddy? Yes, I'm here, Andy. Looking great. Now, I know you're the number one midfielder of the Doggies. Is it nice to have that Bont isn't here today to steal a thunder for once? Yeah, it is good. He always, obviously, being a big name, he's um, always taking the spotlight, but that's all right. You've got to uh, abide by that at times. I understand. He couldn't get the job done for the Doggies, though, so this is definitely a chance for you to one-up him. Good luck out there today as we head across to Neville Jenner of the Ds. You there, Neville? Yeah, I'm here, mate. What are we coming from a little history museum? What, what, what room in the house is that? Uh, this is the office. This is where I try and hide uh, all my footies and jumpers. Uh, the only place my wife lets me, pretty much. Fantastic. Charge her five bucks if she's going to come <laughs> in there, mate. I think that's <laughs> <laughs> some great memorabilia on show. Oh, there's the warning sirens. So we'll get both captains together for the toss of the coin. And standing by is Scotty and Peggy, Melbourne fans. How are you, Peggy? <laughs> she's a bit shy. That's okay. You've taught her well. I'm a strange man. Don't talk to strange men. Well done, Scotty. Well, have you got the, the coin there, buddy? I've got the coin, mate. Great. Any any words for Jetta before he heads out into this match? Good luck, son. I've just noticed Dunkley's very handsome. He would go, go quite well with the girls. <laughs> yeah. Well, some positivity for both players before the toss of the coin. This is, this is impressive. Okay, Josh, it's your call. Off you go, Peggy and Scotty. Tails for me. Tails it is, okay. Off he goes. The flip. Heads it is. Um, oh. Jetta's. Heads. Oh, Jetta has the early <laughs> win. One. <laughs> I want to see if we should double check that. I don't trust yeah. Scotty. <laughs> All right, mate. I've got that. Well done. Okay, we'll let you guys go. Neville, Jetta, what would you like to do? Would you like to roll first or would you like the Western Bulldogs to do that? Uh, we'll roll first. Taking the bull by the horns. Let them get ready for what will be a cracking quarter one. Quarter one about to get underway. Neville Jenner from the D's. Early hands on the dice. Let's see how he goes. Trying to... Oh, gosh. Trying to blow on the dice. It hasn't worked for him. One goal, five. Not great kicking. And he needs to 11 points. Josh Dunkley has a chance to reply. We're going to try a different technique. Just one at a time. Just okay. Goals. Four. Four goals, so he's hit the lead. 4-1, and it's worked for him. Fantastic stuff. 4-1, 25, the Western Bulldogs. Melbourne, 1-5, 11. The same amount of forward entries, just not straight kicking there, Jetta, as we head into the quarter time break. Back out for this second term. Western Bulldogs with the momentum, and Dunkley again, his hands on the dice early. Let's see how he goes this second quarter. Oh, no. oh, it's not. I've seen better rolls at 7 11 oh. at 3 a.m. after they've been in the heater for too long, mate. That is not a good roll. Well, it's, was it 1 4? 1 4, yep. 1 4 takes you to 5 5 35. Neville Jetta licking his lips. The chance for you to go at it, bud. I'm going to go uh, take Josh's little tactic here and uh, roll one, one at a time. So. Okay. Which worked. Yeah. Four, a four one. The opposite of one four, but it, it does emulate exactly what Dunkley did in the first quarter. Four one twenty five. It means Melbourne hit the lead by one point. We're in for a tight one here this Sunday afternoon. Five six thirty six. Melbourne play five five thirty five. The Western Bulldogs. Half time at the moment, giving us a chance to get inside the magical mind of David King in the lab. Over to you, Kingy. What do you got for us? Hi Andy, 
I'm amazed at what I'm seeing here. Split roll, double roll, take your pick, boys. It's mind-boggling what's going on. Players casually changing their mind mid-game. You'd think they'd be making those sorts of decisions at training. Not on the big stage. Fair dingum for all those kids watching at home. This is an example of what not to do. Pick a technique at training, not when you're over the box. Back to you, Andy. Oh, harsh words, but fair words from the superstar from North Melbourne. Look, you can't buy insight like that. Incidentally, we did. Make sure you invoice Kingy. We're in for a thriller here. This is exciting, a one point advantage to Melbourne as Jetta takes command of the cubes again and gives them a throwdown. He weaves, he, oh, to five. Fantastic. 5G and 5G, the sponsors will be happy. 5-5-35, five, five, a huge score. That's nearly equaling the amount of freckles on Clayton Oliver's cheek. But uh, <laughs> let's go across to Dunkley. What can he do in reply? Oh, 6-4. Oh, <laughs> He's turning into an absolute nail-biter. 75 points play, 71. 10-11-71 Melbourne, 11-9-75 Western Bulldogs. The Doggies back in front by four points. We'll let them go to the break and prepare for what's going to be an absolute rip snorter of a final term. Oh, you didn't need this on your Sunday. You didn't be calming yourselves down, but everyone will be on the edge of their seats. Toilet seat it could be, because you can take your handheld device wherever you like, and they are gripped to this match. Dunkley has the dice first on this last quarter. Can he extend the Doggies' four-point lead? Oh, oh he can. Yeah. And I think that'll do it. I think it might be impossible to come back from there. A 6-5, 41 point. One point off the best you can get in a term. Outstanding rolling. Jetta percentage will play a, play a part in this season. Bring it home, buddy. Oh. What is it? I can't quite. Is it one? One, three. Oh. But perhaps he knew. I mean, after Dunkley rolled the 6 5 to extend the lead beyond what could have been rolled, it takes the doggies to it. Look, pretty substantial win. 17 14, 1 1 6 to Melbourne. 11 14, 80. A huge last quarter blitz. Dunkley, you've got to be happy with that. Very happy, mate. It was uh, obviously a tough first half, but good to come out on top in the end. Yes, on top, of course, of Melbourne and on top of Bont. As we stand at the top, you've got it. <laughs> you love that. It's always good to get on top of the Bont. One for the change room, buddy. Again, we'll have a look at the scores. It is 11-14-80 Melbourne, 17-14-1-1-6. One, a 36-point win to the Doggies. Six straight kicks. Tremendous effort. Got two more games for this Sunday afternoon. Dice football. We'll see you there.